In this video, I want to make a couple of improvements to our routes. The first thing I want to do is set up a default route so that when the user is not entering a URL, when they're not entering slash home or slash settings, it should automatically redirect to home. You don't want to force the user to enter home every time. If they don't enter anything, home is like the default route. Now, how do you do that? And the second thing that I want to do is handle Errors. So if somebody is entering a route which does not exist, I want to show a message which says, hey, you entered a route that doesn't exist. How do I do those two? So let's start with the default route when the user does not specify a route. Okay. So there is a way in which you can specify the root route by specifying path here to be an empty string. And now here you can have a component which maps to the default component. So let's say you have uh, something that needs to show by default, well, you can do this. So when the user does not enter any URL, it maps to this. But that's not what we want. What we want to happen when the user does not enter a route is to redirect to this thing. Now, how do I specify a redirect? The way to specify a redirect is not by specifying a component here. I don't want to specify the home component here as well. Okay, well, let's see what happens when we do this. I'm going to change this to say a comma here. I missed that out. So when I do this, the blank route goes to home component and then the slash home goes to the home component as well. Right? So let's test that out. So I refresh the page. When I don't specify anything, it goes to home. And when I specify a slash home, it goes to home as well. So one thing that you can infer from this is the route, the path to component mapping is not one-to-one. -one. You can have multiple paths, multiple URLs mapped to the same component. That's fine. But this is not something that I would recommend because now you're having the same component mapped to two different routes and the user would like to have one route where they can get to home. And if the user is not entering slash home, I want to do a redirect, like I mentioned, and not have a copy of that home component, right? I don't want to have another route pointing to the same thing. I just wanted to do a redirect. So in order to do this, I'm not going to specify a component. I have to ask Angular to redirect to the home route, okay? So the way to do that, to command space or control space, you see this handy property called redirect to. This is what you need to use. I'm going to redirect to, and I need to specify the path where it has to go. I need it to add slash home. Notice that I'm adding a slash here, but I did not need to add slash over here because the path is automatically appended to the end, but the redirect needs a slash so that it's indicative that it is redirecting from the root onwards and not a relative path. Okay? So, by adding a slash here, I'm saying I want this URL to be redirected to application slash home. And I also have this other property called path match takes in a value, which is a string. I'm going to pass in full here. I'm not going to go into the details of all the values that it can take, but I'm going to pass full here because I want the path to be matched fully. Here it doesn't make a difference, but there is this other option called prefix where it is going to match whatever uh, portion you have over here is going to be matched. And then the rest of the URL is going to get propagated over. In this case, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to just do a full uh, and press save. Uh, long story short, what you're doing here is you're saying the empty string, the empty path needs to be matched. Uh, needs to be redirected to home and the whole thing needs to be matched in this case it's just an empty string so now what's going to happen is when i access the page without a path it is not going to load the home component directly what it's going to do instead is actually redirect to home. So you see here, if you don't specify anything, it's automatically going to the home route. It's kind of making this as the default route, which is kind of what we want. We don't want the home component to be mapped to two different routes. Well, if you want to do that, it's up to you. But in this case, if you don't want to do it, 
uh, this is the way to do that by specifying a redirect to. This is good. This is the first one, first thing that we wanted to accomplish. The second thing that we wanted to accomplish was specifying a component when the path doesn't exist, when the path doesn't have a route configuration. So let's say I specify foo. Well, nothing shows up here. And if I access the developer tools, you can see here there is a nasty error. The error says cannot match routes URL segment foo because foo is not mapped to any of the URLs in my application. Now, if somebody were to add, somebody were to access it manually, I want to show some friendly error message. I want to show a component which has an error message. And I want that component to be loaded by Angular when the user accesses a URL which is not mapped in any of these paths. Now, how do I do that? I do that by specifying wildcard paths. So here, let's say I add in another configuration path here, but instead of specifying an actual path, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna specify two stars here. This indicates a wildcard. The two stars indicates that it's not just the single word that needs to be matched, but anything that follows it. Let's say I say foo slash bar slash baz, it really doesn't matter, it's matching everything. That's the significance of these two stars here. I'm going to map the component to be my error component. Okay, I'm gonna create a component which shows an error message and I'm gonna map it to that. So let me create that component first. ng generate component page not found. So I'm gonna create this component for page not found. And uh, in my page not found component, I'm going to print a message here which says, you've entered invalid URL, page not found, all right? Simple message. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to map it to the wildcard so that, just gonna copy this over. And then the component that's mapped is going to be the page not found component. I'm gonna do an ng serve here. Switching back to the application. By default, it goes to home, but if I were to access foo, guess what? I get the invalid URL. I'm gonna say foo slash bar. I'm going to get that page map, uh, page not found component that's mapped to it. If you notice here, the URL is not changing. It's not changing the URL, rewriting the URL to something else. It retains the URL because it is a wildcard. Since I've applied star star here, this matches what you've entered. If I entered slash foo slash bar, this is actually a successful match. It's not a redirect. It's successfully matching it, but then it is loading the page not found component each time. So this is actually not an error condition. According to Angular, you're telling Angular, no matter what the URL is, map it to it. But you as a developer know that this is an error condition. So you provide an error message over here, right? But as far as Angular is concerned, it's done its job, so it's happy, no error messages here, which means you have a nice user experience.